Man oh man, what a day of NBA basketball. The Celtics burst out to a 1-0 lead over the Raptors, the Clippers finally managed to clinch their spot in the second round, and the Jazz Nuggets series continues to be the best of the first round so far. After holding a 3-1 lead, the Jazz are starting to choke as the Nuggets, led by Jamal Murray, have crawled back to tie the series at three apiece, with Game 7 occurring on Tuesday. Speaking of Jamal Murray, him and Donovan Mitchell have been ridiculous this series, having one of the greatest scoring battles in NBA playoffs history. But with all this hype around him, people are starting to wonder how good Jamal Murray actually is, because these performances have rarely occurred before. Aside from the hype, how good is Jamal Murray? Where does he rank in the NBA and amongst fellow players at his position? That's what I'm going to be looking at in today's video. If you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content like this. I'm trying to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that all being said, let's talk about Jamal Murray. As I mentioned, Jamal Murray has been simply ridiculous this series, especially in the last three games. In Game 1, Jamal Murray led the Nuggets to an overtime victory, dropping 36 and 9 assists as the Nuggets ran away with the game in extra time. However, in Game 2 and 3, Murray got heavily scrutinized by NBA fans by one of his common flaws, and that's being inconsistent. Across Game 2 and 3, Murray averaged 13 points per game and 5 assists, and shot below 40% from the field as the Jazz would win both games and would take a 2-1 series lead. In the rest of the series so far though, Murray has stood up big time. In Game 4, though they lost, Murray pushed the Jazz to their limits, pouring on 50 points and hit 9 of his 15 3-point attempts. In Game 5, Murray forced a Game 6 by dropping 42, and it again felt like he just couldn't miss. His biggest statement game of the series, however, definitely came in Game 6 today as he dropped 50 points yet again, becoming the first player since Allen Iverson in 2001 to score 40 or more points in three straight playoff games, and he hit multiple daggers to ice the game away over Utah. Murray missed a total of seven shots for the game, out of the 24 he took, and was simply unstoppable. Now, the Nuggets have a chance to do the unlikely and come back from a 3-1 deficit and it would be on the back of Jamal Murray's. With these recent amazing outputs, it does put us fans in a weird spot with Murray. Last season, Murray was great in the playoffs, but did play quite poorly this season. Maybe this was due to lofty expectations, but Murray's averages of 18.5 points per game and mediocre efficiency weren't really expected, as many believed he would take the next step. Murray has definitely proven those people wrong in the playoffs and will look to continue to do so in the ensuing years if he can get rid of his inconsistency issues at first. But with that all being said, where does Jamal Murray rank against players in his position today, the point guard spot? Is he a top 10 point guard yet? Firstly, let's take a look at point guards Murray is obviously worse than. Curry, Lillard, Westbrook, Doncic, Ben Simmons, Kyle Lowry, Kyrie Irving, Kemba Walker, and Chris Paul are all clearly better than Murray in my eyes. Not in that order, of course, but there isn't much debate there at all. For players, Murray is better than clearly. Malcolm Brogdon, Eric Bledsoe, Mike Conley, those are all the players I view as being worse than Murray individually though they are slightly comparable. Now, this is where the debate heats up, as the players I'm going to mention are very comparable to Murray and are all quite young too, which makes things very interesting. The first player I want to compare Jamal Murray to is Trey Young. 
Trey Young had an exceptional sophomore season this year, averaging above 27 points per night and was lighting up teams offensively. However, the big issue with Trey Young is his defense, and his league worst level of it really counteracts his offensive production, reducing his overall impact to me. So, is he better than Murray? I'm gonna have to go with yes for now. I think he's overall a more polished offensive talent than Murray, he's simply better on that end and is more consistent too. However, if the Hawks don't start winning more soon and his defense doesn't improve to where he's not a complete liability, this could change, especially if the scoring output of Jamal Murray continues next season. Another player I want to compare Murray to is Ja Morant. Both had very similar statistical outputs this year and Morant is set to win Rookie of the Year this season after a phenomenal year on Memphis. However, I still think I'd take Murray over him right now. Definitely down the track, I can see Morant becoming the better player, he has so much potential to, but I wouldn't say his rookie year is nearly enough to put him above Murray. Still, it is quite close here, and it's a comparison that could change a lot in just a couple seasons, but again, as of right now, I'm taking Jamal Murray. The final player I want to compare Murray to today is De'Aaron Fox. After breaking out in 2019, De'Aaron Fox really didn't get the attention he deserved in 2020, still being a reliable 20 points per game scorer for the Kings. Maybe it's because the Kings didn't become as big of a playoff threat as expected, but you can't deny that Fox had another exceptional year as a young player. With that said though, I am still taking Murray over him. To me, Murray is a better offensive player, he has more in his bag, and Murray is way more likely to take over a game and pop off offensively than Fox, as Fox is yet to break 40 points in a game, whilst Murray has just done that three times in a row in the playoffs no less. I hope I don't sound like I'm hating on Fox here, but right now, I am taking Murray over him with little hesitation, if I'm being honest. So after comparing Murray to players of his position, I pretty firmly believe he's not a top 10 point guard just yet, but it is quite close. I have him sitting at around 11 or 12. But where does Murray rank across the entire NBA? For me personally, I'd have to say Murray is around the 35 to 40 mark in best players in the NBA, and I think he has the potential to be a top 30 player next season. He's still very young at just 23 years old. I see him as a great second option for an NBA team on a level that guys like CJ McCollum and Jalen Brown are on right now. CJ, Jalen Brown, and Murray all were not all-stars this year, but all were close so I'd say Murray is on a borderline all-star level right now. However, this can change with time, and I think within the next couple years, we'll see Murray emerge as an all-star reserve level player, kind of like the level guys like Kemba Walker are on now. Let me know if you agree with that ranking below. So overall, these are my thoughts on Jamal Murray. Despite the hype growing for him immensely over the last week or so, Murray definitely still has some areas to improve, and due to him being so young, it is hard for me to place him as a top 10 point guard, because he simply just isn't on that level yet. However, what he's doing in the playoffs right now is showing a ton of promise, so if he uses this momentum from now and puts it into next season, we might see a little rise of Jamal Murray, and perhaps his first All-Star appearance. Maybe the boycott has motivated him, maybe he's a beneficiary to having no fans in the building. To me, that doesn't really matter, because these last few games, Murray has showed some insane star potential, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. But as of right now, I see Jamal Murray as the 11th best point guard in the NBA and around the 35 to 40 mark as the best player in the whole league. 
That is how good Jamal Murray is, exactly. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? How good is Jamal Murray to you? Is he a top 10 point guard in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.